Hello developers, welcome to the channel. Initially in Laravel, we used to use php artisan make auth command to create authentication scaffolding. I guess in Laravel 6, this command is removed and the UI of the authentication scaffolding is moved to a separate package that is this one Laravel UI. This Laravel UI is a simple authentication scaffolding built on the Bootstrap CSS and it has a preset for Bootstrap, React and Vue.js. Now when the Laravel 8 was released, the Laravel team has also announced the new package that is the Laravel Jetstream. This one. This Laravel Jetstream provides uh, lots of features like uh, login registration, email verification, two-factor authentication, session management, API support with Sanctum and optional team management. This Jetstream is designed using Tailwind CSS but to work with this Jetstream package, you have to choose either Livewire or Inertia scaffolding. When this Jetstream package was announced, it felt like that the Laravel UI package is going to deprecate. But the problem with Jetstream is that you have to use a Livewire or Inertia to use this Jetstream package. Taylor Otwell himself has clarified that the Laravel UI package is not going anywhere. It is still going to be maintained. But recently, Taylor and the team has released a new package that is the Laravel Bridge. This is also simple scaffolding for authentication which is styled with the Tailwind CSS. This is the another signal that in future this Laravel UI package may going to deprecate. If you don't know how to use this Laravel Bridge, I have already created a dedicated video on this topic. I will put the link of in the video description. You should also watch that. If you want to use the features of Jetstream but you don't want to use Livewire or Inertia, so for that you can use the package Laravel 45. This Jetstream package is powered by this Laravel 45. This Laravel 45 is a front end agnostic authentication backend for Laravel. It means Fortify doesn't care about your front end. It only provides backend for authentication. You can use any front end like Bootstrap, Tailwind, Vue.js, React, or anything you want. Now, in this Laravel 45 series, we will cover all these features step by step. So, let's start using this Laravel 45. To save time, I have already installed the Laravel application. It is the fresh installation of Laravel and in the terminal i am already in the laravel app next we will install this laravel 45 and for that here i'll run composer require laravel 45 it's installed next we will run this vendor publish command and it has published these files if i run git status it has published some actions in the app actions, a service provided and 45 con configuration file and the migration. Let's see this in the app actions. We have 45 actions to create users and password validation rule, reset user password, update password action, user profile action. Next, it has published the provider, 45 service provider. And it has published the configuration 45. And in this 45, we have got web by default. And password is from the users table. By default, it is going to use email to match credential of the users during the login. And if you want, you can change it to other field and you can specify that here an email is going to be the email column and here the home path is route service provider and this one next is the and this option is for the route prefix and subdomain the by default middleware is web middleware and this is the rate limit configuration and this is the option if uh, your route should return view or not 
that is useful if you are creating SPA then you might don't need to return view in that case you can set it false next is the all these features provided by the laravel 45 for now i am going to comment all of these and we will implement all these features step by step and if we see the database migrations and here it has created the two factor secret and two factor recovery codes columns in the users table so next we will run the migration first let's add the database credentials in the .env file i have already created a database for that that is laravel 45 and username is hero lab password is password now in the terminal i'm going to run php artisan migrate is done let's see the next step as we have seen the vendor publish command has published the 45 service provider so we have to register this service provider in the providers array in the app configuration file so let's go to the configuration app.php and right here i will add app providers 45 service provider is done now let's look into the features so in the config 45.php first we will implement registration feature so before that in the terminal here i am going to run php artisan route list laravel by default comes with these two routes from the web and api routes and these routes are created by the 45 package now if i enable this registration feature and run the artisan route list again and it has added the two more route for get request register and post request register now if we go to the browser and try to visit this register route let's see laravel 45 dot test i have created this virtual host for the our application and let's navigate to register route and here we get the register view response error that is because this route is created but we have not specified which view should return for this specific route so for that we will navigate to 45 service provider and in the boot method here i'll say 45 and here you say register view it is going to accept function and here we will return view auth dot register so next we will create this view in the resources views here i'll create directory auth and in this auth directory i'll create register dot blade dot php next i'll steal the markup from the laravel ui that is in the source auth directory and here is the bootstrap stubs in the auth directory i'm going to steal the markup from the registered stub let's copy this and paste it in the registered blade.php next it is extending the layouts dot app so let's go back and in the bootstrap stub we will go to layouts app stub let's copy all of these now in the views i'll create layouts and in the layouts directory app dot blade dot php let's paste this now let's go to browser and refresh we got syntax error right here we forget to add semicolon refresh and here we go we have form but styling is missing that is because we have not added the bootstrap so what i am going to do in the terminal here i'll run npm install bootstrap jquery and popper.js and it's installed now npm install so 
it's done now in the app application i will navigate to the resources js bootstrap js here i'll load the jquery and bootstrap i'm going to copy the snippet from the ui package so here i'll go to auth source presets here is the bootstrap preset and in the bootstrap.js let's copy this and paste it right here it's done now in the resources css instead of css i'm going to use sas so here i'll say s a s s and the css is app dot s c s s and here i'm going to import bootstrap so import and from node modules bootstrap s c s s and bootstrap that's done here and next in the terminal i will run npm run dev and here we get error that is because i forgot to modify in the webpack makes.js right here here instead of post css we will use s a s s says and here is the s a s s app dot s c s s it's done now terminal and npm run dev now it should work now this time it has downloaded the sas loader and asked to run mix again so let's run the npm run dev again now it's done it has compiled the app.css and app.js now go to browser and here refresh and this time we should have proper layout for the registration page and here we have now let's register harish harish at example.com password confirm password and register and we are successfully registered and it has redirected to the home page but we have not created the home route so it has given the 404 error so let's create the home route so in the routes web.php here i'll say route view and here i'll say home route and home route is going to return home view and this home route is only accessible for authenticated user so here i'll add middleware auth now go to browser refresh and we get new error home view is not found so let's create the home view so in the views directory home.blade.php and i'm going to steal its markup from the laravel ui so source directory auth bootstrap stubs and here's the home stub let's copy all of these and paste it right here and now in the browser refresh and here we have home view and now let's close all of these now if we see the auth register blade file here it is using the action and we have already seen that this this registration feature creates the register route and that is specified right here to register that user in the service provider it is using this action to create the new user and that action is in the actions 45 create new user action and here it is validating the form input field and the new user is created right here let's dump this input to check if it is hitting this method so let's log out and register one more time harish harish at example.com password password and register 
and here you can see the input fields that is from the here so if you want to add some modification you can do right here next we will create the login feature we need to create the login view so in the 45 service provider right here we will say 45 login view and this is going to accept function and here i'll return view auth dot login now let's create this view so in the auth login dot blade dot php now let's steal some marker from the laravel ui bootstrap stubs auth login stub and copy all of these and paste it here refresh and here we have the login view let's login this and we are successfully logged in now you may ask that in the actions we don't have any action related to login so if we need to add some modification in the login features then how we can do that for that laravel 45 provide us this authenticate using function we can copy this and paste it here make sure to import these classes now all classes are imported now in this method what it is doing we first fetch the user from the request email and we check the password using the hash check method and then we return the user so first let's dump this to make sure it is hitting this method now log out and let's log in again reset example.com and password and here is the request term we have reached right here so let's delete this and try login again and we are logged in this is working so if you want to add your own logic to authenticate a user you can do right here in this method right now we don't need this so let's remove it now we have created the register and login feature using the 45 package in the next video we will see reset password feature so this is the end of this lesson thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.